Assalamualaikum. Hi, uh, my name is Muhammad Ashraf bin Muhammad Malik, and I will be presenting our software requirements specification for food ordering system. First of all, the purpose of the SRS, as we call it, is to provide the guideline necessary to design and implement software that fulfills all the requirements given. Uh, it also, in the case of for our project, that is food ordering system, the, this document will contain enough information so that in case that the current team is not be able to complete the software, a future team can use this document and only this document to create another version of the software that still fulfill all the requirement. And for our business plan, we can see in the slide. Uh, first of all, the user will order food and the user will uh, enter the detail and it will they will need to choose uh, for two payment types it is card payment and cash and delivery and we if uh, the order is confirmed uh, the user can cancel the order uh, if uh, after the order is being confirmed it will be delivered to the customer address there will be two user for the system that is customer and employee for our next slide there will be constraints for our system uh, first of all uh, the platform the system must be comfortable on both pc and smartphone next its reliability the end system should allow for seamless recovery without data loss system must recovery quickly in seconds wherever the system down without customer not noticing it at all next is the audit function uh, there must be a strong audit chain with all the system action block uh, lastly it's database the system should use, should use my sql database for storing all the information uh, the first module for this project is manage user as you can see here this is the use case diagram for this module uh, the use case ID is UAD FOS M01001. This use case is for guests to sign up and open their account in the system and for existing users to log into their account and edit their information. There will be two actors here in this use case that is guests and registered user. Uh, the precondition for this use case is the user must have already have an account. So for sign up, uh, the flow for sign up is first of all the user access the sign up page. Then the user enters the username and password, and the system will verify the username and password. After that, user will enter their names, phone number, and address. If the username is not existed yet, the the system will take the this creation this account creation is successful and the system will direct it to the main page for login uh, first of all the user will access the login page after that the, they will enter the username and password in if the if the system verifies the username and password they will be directed to the main page lastly for edit information first of all user will access the edit page after that user will change the information and submit the system will be changed that particular information and will direct user to the profile page and display their new information there is no alternative flow for this module uh, for a uh, for a section flow there will be three uh, accession flow for this module first of all uh, existing username when signed up sorry first uh, the system will display error message and after that the system will direct the user back to the login page uh, second accession flow is uh, wrong username or password or both when login uh, first, the system will display error message and the user will re-enter the username and password and if 
uh, the username and password is correct then uh, the username the system sorry will direct them to the main page uh, our last efficient flow is when the user forgot the username or password uh, the system will ask email from the user and the user will enter the email and system will show message to check the email uh, the system will retrieve username and password through the email and the user will use this new password or username to log in and the system will direct it to the main page uh, the post condition for this use case is uh, user successfully sign up or log in into the account and can edit the information if needed there will be several rules for this use case that is the username submit by the user is not yet registered in this in the system when they're trying to sign up and the user need to already register the account and submit valid login information when login uh, the cost plan for this uh, use case is the system cannot detect either the user submitted valid information or not if about them for the use case diagram there is only one actor involved and that is the customer the customer can place order to the fos the special request use case is extend from place order the cancel order use case also extend from the place order and be used by customer next the use case description is this use case diagram show the functionality of the managed order the customer is the only actor for the preconditions the customer must log into the system the basic flow of this use case is first user click select order from the menu second user can choose between food and beverage third user click add to the add menu to the cart lastly user click palace Place order to finalize the order. For the for the alternative flow, user can choose to add a special request or not to the order. The exception flow is user can click on cancel order to cancel the order that have been placed. The system will show order successful for the post conditions. <coughs> the rules that the customer must obey is that they have their account. There is no constraints involved. Customer can only view menu details while employee can manage the menu. menu. The manage menu use case extending the create list of menu, delete menu and update menu availability use case. And manage menu, menu also including view menu details which employee can also view the menu details. Moving on to manage menu use case description for use case ID UDFOSM03001 brief description this use case diagram models the functionality of manage menu it describes the basic flow of add delete and updating menu by the employee and for the customer is to view the menu availability there will be two actors which is customer and employee the precondition is the user has to be logged in into the system refer to manage menu use case diagram udfos m01001 next the basic flow for the manage menu the first function add menu 1.1 Food ordering system display a list of menus that has been provided before. 1.2 Employee select add a new menu option from the menu screen. 1.3 Employee creates a new menu by providing menu name, and category and price. 1.4 Employee recheck and click save. 1.5 Food ordering system generate acknowledgement menu successfully added. For the second function, delete menu. For ordering system, display a list of menu that has been provided before. 2.2 Employee select his choice and click delete menu option from the menu screen. 2.3 
for ordering system request a confirmation for deleting the menu with OK or cancel prompt. 2.4 employee confirmed by clicking OK. 2.5 for ordering system generate an acknowledgement menu successfully deleted. Continue from the manage menu basic flow, the third function update menu. 3.1 Full ordering system display a list of menus that has been provided before. 3.2 Employee select his choice and click update menu option from the menu screen. 3.3 Employee updates any of the following option, menu names or category or price. 3.4 Employee recheck and click save. 3.5 for ordering system generate an acknowledgement menu successfully added. For the last function, view menu. For ordering system, display a list of menu available on the screen. Customer view through the available menu and select his choice. There is none alternative flow. For the exception flow, the first exception is employee key in menu that already existed. For ordering system detects redundancy, then for ordering system prompts the customer to key in again with a new input. The second exception flow is no internet connection. For ordering system is not able to save any new menu due to no internet connection. For post condition, employee successfully perform his activity with the menu list and customer are able to view the updated menu list. Rules Employee enter all menu details needed to create a new menu. Constraint The user need to have an active internet connection in order to use the system effectively and efficiently. My name is Muhammad Ilman Nashran bin Muhammad Nasruddin and my ID is CB19014. So, in my part, I will present about module 4 which is refund management. In this refund management, I have the use case. So, if you can see uh, in the use case, we have two actors which is customer and manager. The customer can access some feature which is first, they can view their order and in the same time, can make a, a order refund by selecting their orders. After that, it will update to their or to the to the system server uh, which is the database so they will, will update their customer data and and the customer also can make a ref, uh, can make a refund purchases meal so the manager also can access this method to make a notification about the refund to the customer so in this table which is a table description this my id with the ud fos m04001 so this uh, this uh, process is just for to declare about the refund process flow about the system so it has two actor which is customer and manager and the precondition about this is uh, about this part is that uh, customer has to register uh, and customer have to log in so they will go to main menu so my basic flow is that uh, the customer must uh, click the button to to view their list of order so that they can choose uh, order to cancel and after that they can uh, confirm the cancel by clicking the button so after they make a cancel so the post refund will be executed uh, so if the success if the refund success it will pop up to the screen and will go to main menu which is home page for alternative flow is none for exemption flow uh, if the input uh, cancel order to refund by customer is none which is uh, uh, the, uh, the input is empty so the process refund will not executed 
uh, so it will you can go to the next page lah, which is uh, my part so the customer must select their uh, order to cancel so my post condition is that uh, after after they uh, key in as register or uh, log in to my to our system after 20 minutes uh, if there is no action so it will it will load up uh, automatically auto automatically so the rule is that customer must complete payment in order to get the refund so just like I say it will cover the customer who want to pay who has pay the the meal uh, online the cons constraint is none Assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Aliman in part 3 module 5 I will explain about managed payment if you see that figure 3.1 Manage payment use case diagram. If customer want to make a payment by using COD, the employee will add the that use case. In the other hand, if customer want to make a payment by using credit or debit card, it must face four include sub use case. Why it must face all four include use case? This is because the main use case is execute the include use case is also execute in the other hand if one of the four include use case is not complete or not execute or show the error uh, therefore the credit or debit reject or extend use case show in this case if customer want to make a payment by using credit or debit card the it must face all four elements for sub use case verify cv verify expired date verify card number verify sufficient fund and after verify all four include use case and then the bank will will respond to the specialized use case payment by credit or debit card use case description in module 5 the first one is use case id use case id is ud fos m05001 the next one is brief description. The use case is allows user to make a payment and to choose between two types of payment that are suitable to them. The system record the payment after the completion. The third one is actor. As I mentioned earlier, the actor have two parts. First primary and the second one is secondary. The primary is customer and the secondary is employee and bank the next one is precondition the customer must enter an order for food uh, to start module 5 the next one is basic flow the basic flow has two ways first one is cash on delivery is customer access a payment page customer click the payment type cash of delivery TOD button the system record the payment type and then the system direct to the tracking page the next one the next basic flow is by using credit or debit card customer access the payment page customer click a payment type credit or debit card customer enter the card number expired date and CVV the machine system verify the card number, expired date, and CVV. The system enable the pay button. Customer click the pay button. Machine system verify the sufficient fund. The system record the payment and the payment type. And the system direct to tracking order page. The alternative flow is in this scenario, in this module, uh, we didn't have alternative flow but exception flow we have two 
as action flow the first one is no internet connection because it, as long as no internet connection uh, the system cannot record the payment and the payment type the system cannot direct to the net page the second one is uh, use the customer don't have a sufficient fund because uh, the merchant system keep rejecting the card credit or debit card if when customer try to make a payment using a credit or debit card as long as customer didn't have a sufficient fund the merchant system keep rejecting the credit or debit card and the system cannot record the payment and the payment type the system cannot direct to the next page post uh, the next one is post condition the customer pay to the company is the post condition in this module the next one is uh, rules in this module it have two more rules the first one is the customer must have a sufficient fund before make a payment via credit or debit card and the next one is the customer must make a payment within five minutes after order checkout the lastly is constraint uh, unfortunately in module 5 we didn't have any assalamualaikum and good day my name is no alia shahira and i will explain about module 6 which is managed tracking so here is the use case diagram for managed tracking the actor was the customer and employee the customer can uh, view order status and the employee can update order status okay next is the use case uh, description for managed tracking the use case id is ud fos m06001 this use case allow the customer to track the active order after payment is complete and the employee can update the order status the actor was customer and employee. The precondition, uh, first, the customer successfully made the order, and uh, which is a uh, managed order, UD, FOS, M02001, and managed uh, payment, UD, FOS, M01001. The user, uh, which is a customer and employee, already registered and logged in with a uh, food ordering system. Okay, next is the basic flow. Uh, firstly, manage tracking. And the first uh, use case is update order status. Um, the employee successfully access uh, with a uh, food ordering system. The employee select the order list and click on the update button. The food ordering system will display the details of the, set, of the order selected. The employee update the order status for current status such as on delivery and food ordering system will update its status in the database. The employee can check the status for confirmation. Lastly, the active order status with its concurrent time will be displayed. Okay, next uh, for view order status. Um, this is for the customer. Uh, the customer successfully access uh, with food ordering system. The customer selects the tracking order section in the home page and food ordering system will display the track order page. The customer enter the tracking ID provided in digital receipt and the FOS check the tracking ID and lastly the, or the active order status with its concurrent time will be displayed. Um, there is no alternative flow for this um, use case. Next is the exception flow. The first exception is invalid tracking. Um, the customer enter the wrong tracking ID. The tracking ID is not found in the database and the food ordering system will display the error message. Um, next exception, a redundant order status. Uh, it's happened when the employee enter the same order status for selected order that already updated. The food ordering system will display a message for redundant status in the selected active order. 
after all the uh, flow will, success will successfully and the post condition uh, the system will show the latest tracking order status detail okay next the rule uh, first rules uh, the customer must complete the payment to receive the tracking ID from the system Next the customer must not include the white space when entering the tracking ID in track order Because the system cannot read the input uh, of the tracking ID Which is uh, the constraints of this um, use case Thank you. That's all from me Assalamualaikum. Um, my name is Mama Afif bin Abdul Rahman, um, CB19007. Um, I will explain about um, manage report modules. So uh, the first thing is this is um, use case diagram uh, for um, manage report module. So the only actors, the only actor in the module is manager. So in this module, a uh, manager can fetch any activity report from the database um, with uh, option, some option that is um, daily, weekly, um, a monthly, or annually. So let's let's move on to the basic flow. But before the, the basic flow start, uh, the the precondition or the thing that that uh, that manager must do before. Um, <coughs> before getting into basic flow is manager must log in into the system first so then and then moving to the next manager must open the food ordering system and then food or food ordering system will display home page and manager um, will uh, click generate report option that I mentioned early uh, then food ordering system display a report page with uh, options um, daily weekly monthly and annually so the manager um, select his or her options and click generate so last um, last flow uh, is a food ordering system uh, will generate the report in excel format so this is the sequence diagram um, for the manage report module so for the exception flow, um, the first one is no internet connection. So if there is no internet connection, so the um, system will display error message to the manager. So the second one, second one is same report downloaded. So the system will ask the manager either he or she want to download the report again. If the manager uh, want to download the report again, then the system will download it again. So if um, the manager don't don't want to uh, download the report then the system will, will reject it uh, so the post condition or after the flow uh, is the manager will successfully uh, fetches um, activity reports from the system so um, the rules of this uh, module is the manager must download the report um, from the system before uh, can view it so in this uh, module there is no alternative flow um, I want to ask if the manager wants to um, view the report first before he or she fetch the system can the manager do that so the answer is no um, as stated in rule in use case description of manage report the manager must download uh, the report uh, before can view it my question is um, what if the customer want to cancel his or her order and make a new order for different menu um, is it possible yes it's possible the customer can simply to click a cancel button to cancel the order and make a new order. I have a question. Can customer login with other account such as Facebook or Google account? So the answer is no. The customer can log in or access the system FOS just by using account that registered in the system. The question is that about the FOS itself. So what is the main purpose of building the 
Terus ordering system To provide To provide customer For a way to place an order Anywhere over the internet With full order system Customer can easily browse All the menu The restaurant has available And place an order For the employee side They are no longer spend time taking the customer order and can easily manage their order management workflow. Okay, for my question, uh, what if the customer want to pay using online banking or e-wallet? Thank you. No, the only available payment for a system is cash on delivery and debit or credit card. What if user forgot his password and how can he recover his account back um, of course the user can recover the icon back um, they can click on the forget password and then the system will ask uh, for email and he or she can check the email for a new password and then they can log in into the system as usual using the new password given how can the user know if they already got their refund? For the above question, the answer is the customer will know that he or she have been refunded immediately of the refund process. The system will display success refund fetch after the refund process executed. Thank you very much for the question.